Natives, thank you for being here this morning and welcome to Muskogee Lakes. My name is Murray Calhoun. I'm CJ Smith. Christy Graham. Anthony McCoy. Jasmine Ward. And I'm William Davis. Check your pockets, call the bank, make sure you got that money because we have a deal for you. Hit them up, Mac. Our acquisition analysts have brought forth an exciting new opportunity to help us to achieve our ultimate goal of building quality homes for quality people. This opportunity is located in the Tulsa, Broken Arrow, Oklahoma metropolitan area and more specifically in the city of Coweta. The prospective property is currently unoccupied and zoned for general commercial. However, we plan to rezone this property to RS3 promptly after closing. Our financial analysts relayed that the project will yield a 19.67% IRR. We've highlighted various risks climbing within this project, such as wetlands and floodplains on site, as well as labor and material shortage. However, we plan to mitigate these risks through spreading development costs across 335 lots, having a contingency plan in place, as well as paying our trade partners on a percentage completed basis every week. We are financing this deal via the bank. Three separate loans will be utilized for acquisition, development, and construction at a 5% interest rate and 1% loan fee. An absorption rate of six homes per month will result in a project life of 70 months, a per unit gross profit margin of 11%, an IRR of 19.67%, and a net present value of just short of a million dollars. Our prominent new community will be known as Muskogee Lakes, offering 335 lots, six floor plans, four elevations, and two separate lot sizes for home buyers to choose from. Our community will also offer world-class amenities such as a swimming pool and clubhouse, tons of walkable green space and outdoor areas, as well as playgrounds and a stock fishing pond. Thanks, Mac. Good morning. Today I'll be presenting the market analysis of our new community, Muskogee Lakes. Muskogee Lakes is located in the greater Tulsa area, specifically Coweta, Oklahoma. Coweta is Oklahoma's 45th largest city and has a, and in 2017, it was voted the fifth safest city by the National Council of Home Safety and Security. Coweta has a population of 9,700 people, a median age of 32 years old, average household income of $58,312. They have an average household size of 3.2 people and currently they're seeing an increase in their population of 2.74% since the year 2010. We believe our target buyer will be millennials looking to live and move into a new rural setting and also have the possibility <coughs> of starting a new family. Our team focuses on four developing niche markets. The cities of Broken Arrow, Bixby, Jinx, and Sand Springs. They're all seeing the increase in housing pricing, population, and overall development. Coweta can also offer similar things to that, but they can offer affordable, affordable housing paired with stable income options for a relaxed lifestyle. At Muskogee Lakes, we take pride in having a lower price point comp compared to our competitors, Ross Coleman Homes and Shaw Homes at entry level pricing and high end pricing while having similar square footage. Tulsa is seeing a currently increase in job development and job growth and overall development, making Coweta an ideal commute of 25 minutes or less without being far from the wealth of opportunities. Thank you. Muskogee Lakes will be phased in four um, development stages. The primary justification for this is to ensure that we have a clear exit strategy upon the downturn of the market. Phasing was determined by lot allocation, grading, and logistics. The wetlands that are on the um, land will not be disturbed during development. During the planning phase, we were able to value engineer two additional ponds into the land. Water, sewer, and sanitary lines and stormwater lines will be added into the community off of the main existing on East 111th Street. In addition, the acceleration and deceleration lanes will be added. Our development team will work closely with the City of Coweta's Planning and Development Department to ensure all, per all requirements are met. Permitting, we approximate, will take 30 days and will apply immediately after closing. Permitting fees and other soft development costs will, are approximated at $1.1 million, or roughly $3,400 per lot. Phase one will begin in March with development. 
and construction to begin 2019, December. Additional uh, phases will be developed when 40% of the current phase is complete, with construction to begin five months after that. We offer 50 and 60 foot lots throughout our community to diversify our floor plans. The model home, of course, will be constructed at the main entrance and gives the potential buyer the availability to tour our homes. Anthony will now speak about product design. Here at Ridgeline Homes, it is our standard to build communities that offer safety for our residents, family-friendly amenities, outdoor activities within close proximity to nearby shopping and entertainment. We will be able to offer all of this and more, which will create pride of ownership for every resident within our one-of-a-kind community, Muskogee Lakes. As Matt previously mentioned, <coughs> Muskogee Lakes will offer 335 detached single-family units, with 92 of those units designated as premium lots. The premium lots will offer homeowners additional privacy and breathtaking views of the property's natural green space and wetland areas. At Muskogee Lakes, our homes are offered in six different floor plans. The Vinings. It is a one-story, craftsman-style home with three bedrooms and two bathrooms, just over 1,700 square feet, starting at $191,391. The Wellington is a two-story, craftsman-style home with four bedrooms and two bathrooms, just over 1,800 square feet, starting at $199,699. The Rosewood is a one-story, traditional-style home with three bedrooms and two bathrooms, just over 2,100 square feet, starting at $238,699. The Mayberry is a one-story, craftsman-style home with three bedrooms and two bathrooms, just over 2,200 square feet, starting at $255,000. The Blue Bonnet is a one-story, traditional-style home with three bedrooms and three bathrooms, just under 2,600 square feet, starting at $271,499. The Ashland is a two-story, craftsman-style home with four bedrooms and two bathrooms, just under 2,800 square feet, starting at $289,599. With our mixture of craftsman and traditional-style homes, homeowners will feel comfortable and elegant at the same time. You may have noticed that two of our homes come standard as two-story homes, but all of our products can be built with an additional second story. In addition to the unmatched available standard features, Homeowners will have the options to add premium flooring, coffered ceilings, accent bricks, and the ability to choose from a host of colors to personalize their home. By offering these options, we will ensure that our products are well tailored towards our consumer. The amenities at Muskogee Lakes are tailored to the property's natural elements. Residents will have access to well-lit walking trails, stock fishing ponds, several playground areas, recreational fields, and a private clubhouse and competition, and competition size pool. The clubhouse and competition size pool will be built within the first phase of the project to ensure residents have access to at least one amenity while we complete the remainder of the development. Jasmine, do you have anything you'd like to add? As a matter of fact, I do, Anthony. Good morning. At Ridgeline Homes, we're committed to building healthier, more efficient new homes responsibly and with true respect for the environment. It is our job and our mission to build quality homes for quality people. Throughout Muskogee Lakes, we feature the use of deciduous trees to help shade the homes in the winter and summer months and bioswells for stormwater management. With each home that we build, our home's energy performance is based on the Home Energy Rating System, or HERS Index. We strive for a HERS Index between a 46 and 52, which on average is about 49% more energy efficient than a standard home with a HERS Index of 100. How do we achieve this? Well, we select the best standard and upgraded features for our homes that are Energy Star certified provide energy savings and home comfort to our home buyers. As a standard building practice, we practice advanced framing using two by six studs in all homes with R20 insulation. This technique helps to reduce the amount of lumber and waste generated in the construction of a home. Engineered wood framing products, including floor and ceiling joists and rafters are incorporated for improved structural support. For added durability and protection against the environment, the use of post-tension slabs and hurricane straps will help to prolong the structural integrity of our homes and help to reinforce the roofs against high winds respectively. Moving indoors, the Honeywell Smart Thermostat learns your home's heating and cooling cycle times to deliver optimal temperatures at the right time, ensuring maximum comfort and saving our homeowners on average $150 on annual energy bills. 
It's also Wi-Fi enabled and has a customizable touchscreen. An upgraded feature we offer is the Samsung SmartThings home automation system. This system lets you program your home by connecting compatible devices, including lights, electronics, and small appliances from anywhere with the touch of an app. And get this, it's also compatible with the Honeywell Smart Thermostat for added convenience. With these features combined, we guarantee our homeowners a home that is structurally safe and one that provides indoor comfort and convenience. Good morning, executives. <clears throat> How one markets their community is one of the most crucial steps to the development process. No sales and no money. And I'm pretty sure that no one likes no money. In order to prevent this tragic outcome from happening, we have come up with several ways to sell our community. When Muskogee Lakes is ready to begin marketing, interest needs to be generated within the area. In order to achieve this plan, we are gonna put initial signage at our community entrance, as well as putting a coming soon page on our website. What this will allow us to do is attract attention towards Muskogee's, Muskogee Lakes, as well as gather the necessary information that we need to start our interest list. Closer to um, pre-sales time, We'll be using some of our digital advertising efforts to drum up more interest for the community so that way we can start off with strong sales as soon as we're ready to begin selling. To launch, um, to launch Muskogee Lakes, we plan on hosting a grand opening event that will be marketed through March 2020. On an ongoing basis, we plan on using some of our digital marketing budget on Instagram and Facebook ads, the Tulsa World online page, page yeah, paper, as well as retargeting advertisement, a new and critical player to the success of Muskogee Lakes. In addition, we plan on sending out regular emails to those that are on our interest list, as well as others, once excitement has been developed within the area. If sales, if sales are slow and additional attention is needed, we have several campaigns and incentives that we can launch. Mac? In summary, Muskogee Lakes offers a variety of different opportunities for Ridgeline homes. With a full amenity area, multiple product sizes, tons of walkable green space, access to major thoroughfares, and a strong sales forecast, we believe that this would be a deal that is worth taking advantage of. The want for an all-American home in a rural setting is one that we plan to capitalize on, and we have recognized this desire. With a 19.67% IRR and over $2.5 million in return, we believe, this to be a deal, we believe this deal to be a diamond in the rough. Thank you for your time this morning. We will now open up the floor to questions. Well. <coughs> Great job, guys. Um, I want to compliment you guys on your proposal. It was great. I like the thought process put into all aspects of it. I like the way that you guys worked your way from, from north to south on your site plan as it relates to development to take care of the topo up top. Um, but I wanted to ask you guys about sensitivity analysis. What's, what's your backup plan if you don't hit the sales pace that you're projecting to hit in this particular community? That's a good question. So we did run sensitivity analysis, analysis with um, fewer lots, and we uh, were still able to achieve an IRR of above, I think it was a 16 something percent IRR with 300 lots. And we also ran sensitivity analysis with um, higher production too, to kind of weigh our options in those two scenarios. Awesome. Great job, guys. <clears throat> I actually don't have any questions. I just have statements because uh, you answered all my questions either in the original package or today. So great job on that. Uh, going through the original package, uh, it was one of the best executive summaries that I saw. It was to the point. It's exactly what an executive is looking for, where it has the detailed information and it's clear and concise. And uh, as far as your schedule, it was one of the few that I saw where you tied the uh, site development and the housing together on what, what time you're going to take to develop the site, when you're going to start the houses, and then a strategy on when at, a, at what sales pace you're going to start the next site, so great job, or the next phase. Uh, lot premiums, they were very logical, and I liked how they were addressed on a per lot basis, not just an average or a total number. Um, model location, again, I thought that was a very logical location. Uh, touching into the sustainability with the bio swells and some of the other stuff you guys are incorporating in the house, I thought that was very well thought out. And the staffing of the project, it was one of the few that actually had an org chart. And that's something as an executive, instead of just, you know, how accounts and salaries and whatnot, you guys actually in your proposal had an org chart. So I thought that was very beneficial. Um, and then I, lastly, just the sales marketing plan, I thought was very well developed as well. So again, I had nothing but great comments. So uh, great job today and great job uh, putting the package together over the previous couple months. Thank you. Thank you.
It was a good job. Um, I too don't have too much to say, so I'm going to nitpick a little bit, which tells you that I went pretty in depth to find something that was a little concerning to me. Uh, Anthony, yes, did sir. you do the product? Yes, sir. Okay, a couple questions. Um, one thing that I look for in a, in a product line is what I call a linear progression. So what that means is, is as homes progress up in square footage, they should offer something more than the plans below it. So just a little tweaking, for example, the Vinings plan looks to have a much larger kitchen than the Mayberry plan, even though the Mayberry is 400 square feet larger. So just kind of keep that in mind as you develop your product offering. Um, I thought there was some money left on the table as far as options go. Uh, and for example, you had a, uh, in your package, you had a, a really good risk page on the tornado risk page and the whole weather issue. I was surprised you guys didn't offer maybe then safe rooms as an option. I didn't, if it was there, I didn't see it. But I thought that might be an opportunity maybe to have additional profits to, to the project. Uh, I did like the fact that you guys had multiple elevations to your houses because with 335 lots, uh, I like the ability to have diversity on the street and the different streetscapes, so I thought that was great. Uh, I also like the fact that you guys had uh, the ability to do second floor options on your single stories. I thought that was innovative. Other than that, you guys did a great job. Congrats. Thank you for your comments. Thank you so much. Great presentation. You guys did a great job. Um, very strong financial and marketing analysis. I really do like it. Uh, and Jasmine had a very uh, nice uh, presentation on the features. Thank you. I really do like that. The hurricane straps is something in Oklahoma is going, and people like it. So she mentioned that, and, and highly efficient homes also as well. Uh, however, two by six was kind of a little bit actually overkill for those for homes under 2,000 square feet. Uh, the only question I have here is, you guys going to open the phase one first, right? On the north side. The entrances are, are great. You guys have enough entrances of the 273rd and also 111. That's good. But uh, can you tell me what the problem would be potential in real world if you open the phase one, the north side of the property first? Um, so you're asking what, what problems may occur with phase one being at the north end of the property? Mm -hmm. Is there, I mean, in, I'm not sure if there's anything in regards specifically. Okay, so let that. me explain. I, I, I think you're, are you um, suggesting about the topography? Yep. Is that, okay. So the reason that we decided to start there was so that we could balance our, um, okay. our land. Dirt work. Yes. That's, that's good, but the other thing is, since the sewer goes from north to the south, they need to put tons of money to get the sewer from the north all the way to the south to connect it to the sanitary sewer line. Usually builders, they don't do that just because of that reason. I'm just saying it for your uh, future experiences. Great presentation, good Thank job. You. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So it's all up to me to hack at you. Very good job. Your executive summary was very good. I certainly enjoyed reading your report, and that's all I'm going to say. Thank you very much. Thank Great you so job. Much. Thank you. And Thank you. <laughs>